a pilot executes a vertical dive then follows a semicircular arc until it's going straight up. Just as the plane is at its lowest point, the force on him is. So what we're going to do is to draw the direction that our pilot is following. So first he's going to execute a vertical dive. So he's going to be traveling straight down, as shown here. Then he's going to go into a circular arc until he's going straight up. So he's going to follow a circular arc as such here until he's going to go straight up once again. So here's the path that our pilot follows. So he goes straight down in a vertical dive, goes in the semicircular arc here, and then he turns around going straight back up. When he's at the bottom of his path here, so when our plane is down here, represented by our dot, we know that we have our weight pulling straight down on our plane, on the pilot. We know that the normal force is directed straight up, and we also know that we're in the bottom portion of a circle, because we're in a semicircular arc, so the top of a circle, and we're in this direction here. So this is the bottom of our circular path, with the center shown here. With that being said, we know that we have a centripetal acceleration, which in this case is going to be pointing toward the center of our circle, so straight up where our pilot is sitting. If we now apply Newton's second law to our pilot, we have the normal force, uh, the sum of our forces, sorry, Newton's second law is sum of the forces is equal to ma. Now it's the net acceleration, so ma centripetal. If we do the sum of the forces, we would have fn minus mg is equal to ma centripetal. Now if we solve for fn by adding mg to both sides, we get fn is equal to mg plus ma centripetal. So when our pilot is at, its, at his lowest point, the force on him is more than mg, so fn is equal to mg plus ma centripetal, so we know it's greater, and the normal force is directed upward, so our answer is C, more than mg and pointing up.